Welcome back, Tater Tuds, to the channel for another new episode of our Star Sign Legacy Challenge, episode 16. We are back with Chris and our boy Jackson here, and it is so good to be recording for this legacy because I have missed that as well for the past month. Our girl, she has woken up here. It is a Tuesday morning. She does have work here soon and um i don't know why it still says she's working from home because that was from yesterday so um yeah that's strange but i think she is in line to get a promotion today so that's what i'm really hoping for so uh yeah we'll have to see if we can do that and then if we can get that taken care of i figured if you guys remember in the last episode we encountered a kodama but i figured we could try to work on getting the next uh, rock climbing skill so that that way we can finish this thrill seeker part of our aspiration and look she's over here doing some yoga trying to relax oh boy why are you thinking about heartbreak don't be thinking about that but yeah so all right guys well I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get this figured out for why her work thing is so messed up and hopefully hopefully guys we will get that promotion Jackson heads to work in an hour and guys look our girl she is already up here at excellent so I think we are definitely getting that promotion and oh I must have forgotten to pay the bills because land grab company just shut down everything but you know that's okay and I don't know why he is in here just dressed like he's about to go snowboarding because obviously he's not he's about to head to work here in about 30 minutes he has just been reading trying to calm himself down before he heads out oh look at him he's just busy cleaning up things what a sweetheart and I think he's got some oh nope he doesn't he, oh he's got those pictures that's right from when they went to the um what was it the snow festival or festival of youth I don't remember but one of those festivals so they are both at work and we should be getting her home soon and oh Lily Fang girl we ain't talking to you we are trying to get our girl a promotion here that's what I'm waiting on here we go here we go here we go yes promotion so Chris has been promoted to a representative she will now make an additional 51 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 178 per hour she's also received the following bonus 3049 simoleons fantastic our girl she is doing so good so let's see what we have to do now so we have to secure 10 votes get charisma skill 8 and of course get our performance up so whew, we got quite a bit to do so our girl is really hungry oh yeah I forgot my mailbox is all the way back here that's so silly I need to take care of that but first let's pay these bills oh I almost clicked to have a science baby that's not <laughs> That's not what I meant. So we'll have her pay the bills and get something to eat. And then I wanna see if I can find where I can go rock climbing. I have finally found the beginner's rock climbing wall. So I'm gonna have Chris come over here and try this out, which she is currently already at level two. So I think she should be all okay. Maybe she won't be all right gonna say it's not even really that far off the ground but you know I was thinking if we could at least get her up to level three for today that would be fantastic plus then we can check this off on our aspiration so come on girl you got this okay she's going up and down up and down so I think yes there we go we've gotten it we have reached level three of the rock climbing skill and she completed the thrill seeker all right so she can now do pre-climb stretching in addition to attempting climb on medium height climbing routes so that's fantastic so let's see what we've got here so we have to perform high intensity skiing or snowboarding on an intermediate or expert slope successfully reach the peak of mount komorebi and endure an injury sustained from skiing snowboarding or rock climbing so okay i think that's i think that's easy enough i don't i don't think that's too difficult haven't we already done a high intensity of our snowboarding because we're at like level seven or something aren't we yeah yeah we are so we are doing fantastic and she is feeling so energized and confident from doing this which i am loving it since she has finished rock climbing, her friend Kimi is here, so I think it would be great if they went and got themselves like some kind of a snack or, you know, something to eat. So let's see if we can come over here and get some food. Um, maybe we'll just get ourselves some 
I mean, I think this girl needs some beef. She wants to get some protein up in there. Oh, and here's our girl, Candy. She's got herself some kind of a taco. But yeah, so it was so fun that we've got both of our friends here, Kimi and Candy, both together. Oh, here she comes to get herself a nice hot meal before she heads on back. Jackson will be getting back home here shortly. And since they've added the milestones in, I did want to take a look. And so we do have here about how she became best friends and started a romantic relationship and fell in love, which Jackson also has. And I like that they both have this love is in the air. Maybe it's time to take the next step and propose. Well, I'm kind of waiting for Jackson to get the mood lit that he wants to do that. So I guess we will just kind of have to wait and see. But uh, anyways, I think that was a pretty good night. She was able to get that skill done and a promotion. So I think she's doing fantastic. So we'll head home here after she finishes eating and see our boy. And then I will probably see you tomorrow. It is Thursday morning and we got burned out. Jackson is burned out. Burnout negatively impacts work performance and promotions, energy, fun, and skill gain. He'll recover over time, but taking breaks and relaxing will help speed up recovery. If Jackson stays burned out for too long, his condition may get worse. So this poor guy is just not feeling good. It's hard to be productive when you're burnt out. Jackson should really take a break before he becomes a full-on brain block. So, oh, lover's comfort. So because he was comforting her in bed, he's having a rough time because he's been studying so hard, trying to get all his logic and things all taken care of for his career. And so, you know, he's just, he's so tired and I feel so bad about that. So maybe we should have him take the day off today because what is his work schedule like? He's off for Saturday and Sunday and she is as well. I mean, if he can just get through today and tomorrow, I think we'll be fine. But yeah, it might be a little bit rough for him. So I'm going to go ahead and get Chris up and have her get ready for the day because she needs to head to work herself. To try to help calm Jackson down before he heads off to work, I'm going to try to have him just do this brain boosting yoga routine, maybe to help him just, you know, open up his mind and relax because this poor boy, like his dream was to be an astronaut. And I know right now he's just a module cleaner, so he's got a long way to go, but you know, he dreams big, but he's having a rough time with facing the fact that it requires a lot of study. But that is one of his life aspirations is he wants to be really smart. It's been one of his goals, one of his dreams. So I don't want to take that away from him. So now we'll do some energy centering to see if perhaps that might help him a little bit. And then we can go ahead and give him a shower, make sure he feels good before he heads on out the door. Jackson has gotten home and he is feeling much better, which makes me feel so much happier for him because I don't want this poor boy to feel so overwhelmed. It just, it hurts me to make him feel that way. So we are going to have him just do just a little bit of studying, not too much, but you know, just some light reading for tonight since he's in a good mood and Chris is feeling pretty tense herself. So I was thinking for her, we might go ahead and just send her out for a jog. That way she can, oh, or she can do some pre-climb stretching. Let's see how that goes. She did her stretching and now Chris is heading off for a nice evening jog late at night, just taking it in since it, you know, it's getting nice and cool since it is the fall season and our boy Jackson is just back at home working on his logic skill. So I figure while she's out, if we see any people, we could stop and try to chat them up to see if we can secure some votes because we do need to secure at least 10 votes. So since that is something that is done definitely going to be very important to our career promotion. We don't want to waste too much time not reaching those goals. So let's see who is out and about. I did see someone over here earlier. Yeah, so there's this person. So we can come over here to Kumi and introduce ourselves to him. I'm having her promote some policies to him and it looks like she was unsuccessful in swaying him. But you know what? That's okay. We're going to still try, let's see, uh, friendly. Is it under friendly? Yeah, political career. And we're going to see if we can secure his vote still, even though he disagreed, because you just never know. So come back here, Takumi. I got to see if I can get anything from you. He is just loving this rain. But uh, nope, he is not into it at all. So, oh man, that sucks. Okay, well, it's already pretty late. So we're going to go ahead and head on back to the house. 
and let's check on Jackson. He has headed off to bed. And how far did he get on his logic skill tonight? So he's almost there. So it looks like he had a pretty good evening. It was just nice and calm. He took it easy at work. And so it was a good day. He didn't have to do too much work. Jackson just leveled up his logic skill to level two, which is fantastic just before he goes to work here on a Friday, but he is feeling pretty tense. So I'm gonna have him stop doing that. And then we're going to do just the energy centering yoga routine to try to help bring his fun up. And oh wow, level two of the wellness skill as well. So that's fantastic. So yeah, now he's feeling really happy, which is great. Oh no, and sad. What agency does Jackson really even have? So he is feeling like he is not getting what he wants, but he has been wanting, I've noticed, to confidently swim for an hour. So swimming does not come naturally to Jackson, but it is never too late to learn. Time for the tried and true doggy paddle. So I didn't know that this boy doesn't really swim well, but I guess that's true. They haven't really done too much swimming together. So, I mean, I guess it does make sense. And Chris here, she is feeling pretty tense from work. She's having a tense burnout. I'm going to have her take it easy because she is just getting really worn out. Thankfully, it is the weekend though. So I think we are going to have a lot of fun on the slopes and mountain climbing and whatnot tonight. Chris is home and she is feeling pretty tense again from her day but you know what it's okay it's Friday night and we're gonna head to the slopes with our friends because obviously Jackson doesn't get home till way late so we're gonna go ahead and head on out and go ahead and at least get some fun in for her we have arrived at the slopes with our crew and we are going to try to do some high intensity skiing or sorry snowboarding on this intermediate slope to see how we go but look they're all going to the bunny slope <laughs> because <laughs> they can't do it but okay girl let's see how you do let's follow her and let's see what tricks she's got up her sleeve so here we go all right oh my gosh that is intense but she killed it she made it all right no falls bad spills or anything so far so she's doing fantastic oh she kind of biffed it there at the end but you know what she's doing great so all right yes we did get that oh endure an injury so i guess she just got injured and i didn't realize it so yeah battered and bruised so oh, sorry girl i know that that probably hurts so okay i think she has to do it successfully for it to count so let's see if we can have her do it again because this girl she i know she can do it i have total faith in her also, look how beautiful the sky is right now. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Okay, Chris, show me what you got. You can do it. You're gonna land things perfectly. Okay, high intensity. She's doing it, some easier tricks. So she should be able to stop, I think, at the bottom here on her own pretty well. And, and yes, she did it. So we were successful, awesome. So now we just have to successfully reach the pink the pink the pit the peak of Mount Komorebi so all right with that being said let's go ahead and get her a snack something to eat here um something just kind of quick um well nothing is super quick other than dongo but I feel like she needs something a little bit more so we'll just do some here girl just do some seaweed ramen and just go for it get yourself some veggies in there and then I think we're gonna head on over to the rock climbing wall to see if we can work on that skill just a little bit before she heads to bed. So, okay, she's feeling good. She's feeling energized. So I know it was back over here. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so let's have her continuously do some, um, we'll do some, I don't, meticulous climbing session, sure. So let's have her get on over here because we can't waste this time. She's going to have a blast this weekend. And oh my gosh, Jackson was promoted to technician. Fantastic. We'll definitely have to go out and celebrate with him. So he'll make an additional 20 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 54 per hour. He received a 756 simoleon bonus Astro Model Rocket Point Out Constellation Interaction. 
awesome. I'm so happy for him. I know he's burnt out, but I think that this will be a fantastic opportunity. And this person has come over to chat with us. So we're going to introduce ourselves because maybe we can uh, sway her and secure a vote. You know what I mean? So I'm going to try to secure her vote here. Let's see if we can get it. We got a sentiment. And oh my gosh, we definitely, we got a vote. That's fantastic. So that's one for us. Chris has made it officially to the top of her little climb here, which is awesome. And so she does need to climb down. So let's have her come on back down. Let's see how she does. And then we'll send her on home because I know it is so late and she is getting exhausted and she does have to use the bathroom quite bad. So come on, girl, you've got this. Head on down, you can do it. We gotta get home because we are definitely gonna have to head on out and celebrate with Jackson because you know, he's finally done it. He's been promoted. Chris just got home and caught sight of her boo. Even though she has to use the bathroom so bad, she's coming over here to give this boy a kiss. She is like, I am so proud of you. You did amazing. It's the weekend. This weekend is about us. We are gonna have a fantastic time together. So I'm gonna get them ready for bed and whatnot and rest it up so that we can have a great time tomorrow on Saturday. So anyways, Tater Tots, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here because I have to go start cooking dinner and my my son is starting to wake up so this episode is probably a little bit shorter than I would like but you know it is what it is so thank you so much for joining me if you aren't subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the future episodes and drop or not drop but hit that like button and drop a comment down below let me know what you guys think are you guys excited when do you think Jackson should propose and how what should they do I don't even know <sighs> also let me know if you guys think do you think Jackson is just you know he's just feeling overwhelmed with work or do you think he actually wants to change careers I feel like it might just be more of being overwhelmed but anyways once again thank you so much to Hater Tots and I will catch you next time See ya. Loose and sleep, I'm in too deep. No matter where I hide, you got me sleep deprived.